Hello everybody. For my partial project, we'll be discussing the uh, piecewise defined functions. These are normal functions that have to respect these rules. So, we, right here we have f of x equals x plus 2 if x is greater than 2. And x squared minus 5 if x is minor or equal than 2. So, first what we need to do is graph our two equations. So this is done by drawing a Cartesian plane and first we start graphing the first one which is x equals f of x equals x plus 2 so to graph this one we need to, uh, well, see the x intersect, y intersection, and just draw the line. And then we graph the next one. Is f of x equals x squared minus 5. And this one goes like this. So now we need to make them consider the rule they have to respect. So for the first one f of x equals x plus 2, it has to be x greater than 2. So first we need to see if the sign is greater or greater and equal. Since it's just greater, it's not touching, it's, it's not touching the actual value of 2. So we draw it, we, re, we erase off the line that does not respect the rule, and we put it with a closed gap on the 2 value of x. And then the next one. It, needs, it says that x has to be m minus or equal than 2. So 2 is right here. So this part of the graph, I know, this part of the graph doesn't exist until here. We put a close dot because it says that it's equal, it's mi minus or equal. So now that we have our two graphs, we can know the domain and the range. So the domain is from minus infinity, because the line goes all the way to infinity, to infinity. Why? Because this is a closed gap on the two value, but this, sorry, this is a, an open gap in the two value, and this is the closed dot on the two value. So this kind of fills in this gap, and we can go this with the straight line from minus infinity to infinity. Now, from for the range, we need to see the y values. So it's from five. all the way to infinity. So now we have all the things we need to see, we need to know for our graph, which is the graph, the domain, and the range. Now we can also have the coordinates. This one is, well, to have the coordinates, we need to put this value and substitute it here. So it's x squared minus five. And since this, is 2, we need to put 2 squared minus 5, which is 4 minus 5, which is minus 1. So the coordinates is 2 and minus 1. And for this one, we do the same. We put this value and substitute it on x. It's x plus 2. And then substitute the x value, 2 plus 2 equals Four. So we have the coordinates which are from 2 and x and 4 on y. Now we can move on to the next example. Okay, so for this next example, we have 
f of x is equal to x plus 1 if x is greater than 0 and also 3 if x is smaller minus than 0 so first uh, as I told you we need to make the graph for these two equations so we draw the Cartesian planes So with the first one, f of x equals x plus 1. This graph goes like this. And then f of x equals 3. So this is an horizontal line on the y that needs to intercept y. So it's 1, 2, 3. So now we need to make them respect the rule so this first one has to be x greater than 0 so all the line, the part of the line that x isn't greater than 0 we need to erase and we put it with a, with a gap, with an open gap because it doesn't touch, it's not equal, it's only greater and then with this one, x is minus than 0 so everything that does not respect the rule, we erase. And we put it with an open gap because it doesn't touch. So now we can get the domain and the range. In this case, the domain is also from minus infinity to infinity because, no, from minus infinity to zero union from zero to infinity. Well, why? Because it goes from minus infinity to zero and it doesn't touch it. So, from zero to infinity again. Now, with the range, it goes from 1 to infinity. Now we have our, all our things we need to know and we can go ahead and work with the order pairs. So in this case is this one, x plus 1. And we need to substitute 0 on x, which is 0 plus 1 equals 1. So this is 1 equals 1 and 1. For the next one is 0 and 3 because we don't have any values to substitute on x. Alright, so now we can do a little difficult one. Like it is in this case. So in this case, we also have to draw our Cartesian plane. And we graph them. So f of x equals x. So this is a 45 degree line 
passing to the origin. Then f of x equals 2 minus x. So this goes like this. And the next one, which is f of x equals 0. Then you can go ahead and uh, do the procedure I told you to get the domain and the ordered pairs. Thank you very much for your time.